Welcome to this is going to be a tutorial on OMSI and Blender and mainly Blender how to texture things and then like import it into OMSI and how to get it working properly. So for this tutorial I'm going to do a, a wheel. So first we need to do actually before we do that is we need to set up the folder. So you go on to here, uh, you go to your OMSI directory, so that'll be OMSI vehicles. For this I'm just going to copy the sort of scanner 1. As you can see you need this folder structure, so just copy the whole folder like that. Go to another place where you're going to edit your files, it can be that same folder if you want to, it's up to you. Um, I've just pasted it here as you can see. So you're going to go into there, as you can see I've got everything. So that's your folder structure all set up. Oh, delete all the model files in it, but you still want to keep your config folder. I'll show you how to do this later. Um, I suggest you keep all your scripts folders so that you can still do things. Uh, sound, don't necessarily need. And then textures, you want to put all, obviously all your own textures in there. So anyway, we've got a wheel. So what we need to do first is save this in uh, that folder. So you go to D for me, then you would go in there, go to model, because this is where all your models are, and I'm going to call this wheel fr dot blend because it's the front wheel to the right. So it would be fr for me. That's how I name my files. It's quite a good way to do it. All right. So now it's saved. <coughs> you want to go in. No, you want to press A to deselect everything as you can probably see and then A to select it all again. Now you want to go into edit mode as you can see it's all done. If you click on these arrows drag it out then you click the box go to UV image editor as you can see this would be the UV image editor. Um, so you go on to this side go to materials as you can see it hasn't got a material you need to assign one it just that's what it does. And then go to textures. These are like all the different textures it has. I just leave it as it is, it's a bit weird. Uh, new, and then you would go to image or movie, because we I'm doing an image. And I would open this. As you can see, it starts from the model folder. So you want to go up one, and then into your texture folder. And then I know that it's wheel two dash two is the image that we want and then it like links all the full the file here you can see so that's quite good and then you would want to go to there and then you can just put your wheel dash 2 and as you can see it's like loaded it all up but if you look on here it doesn't actually you can't actually see it so the easiest way to do that is click the plus go to display and then textured solid and then it's working I'm just going to drag that away as you can see it's working that real it's really weird but hey ho um, do uh, we need to go into faces mode which is there just click a face I'm going to press delete on the numpad just to zoom into that so it's like rotating around the wheel yeah so that's it textured uh, I'm just going to sort this out so in this case for me I'm going to just you press C to circle I find this the easiest way and then you just select all this so you want in your middle bit for instance here this all bit will be there so and then you go over to here select all that you have selected, scale that, that's S, the shortcut by the way, and then as you can see it's making it bigger and smaller, so I want mine like that I think, I don't quite know actually, is it, yeah I think it's like that isn't it, like that, yep yeah, that looks about right, and then I would go uh, circle, thing again, Oops, select around this edge. This is obviously very rough. You would do it a lot better. 
um, uh, like that. Obviously, you would take a lot longer than me. I'm just trying to rush through this at an incredible pace. But I'm sure you'll get used to the idea once you do this a few times. It took me a while to get used to it. Um, don't want any of this because that's already done. And if we just scale, go on to this one, select all, scale that down because we want that to be like that, possibly. So you can kind of see that it's working. It's not working very well, but this is just a rush to get you the idea. And then as you can see, all this is quite weird as well. So we'll just circle that as well. I'll circle a bit bigger so it's easier to do that. Let's copy around. To get the circle thing, you press C and then just click drag. It's quite easy, really. I recommend you learn the basics before you start doing any of this stuff because it does get quite hard to do. Uh, just select all this as well because it's going to be the same colour. Right, so you selected all that. And as you can see, it's getting real. As you can see, it's like this squarey thing. So just do A for that. S for scale. I'm going to scale that down to about there. Then G for grab. I'm just going to put it in this black bit so it's easier. As you can see, there's actually that square. So if I press circle again, I'm going to just select that. And then grab that and put that down here as well, don't know what that is, but it's obviously something that was selected, and as you can see that's all black now as well, so yeah, I would say that's pretty good real, you can at F12 and render, but for me it doesn't work very well, so I just don't use it very well, what I do is import it into the game, and then see what it looks like, and then change it from there, right, so anyway, go file, and then obviously you would save that if you're finished with it, and then what I do as well, I pack everything into the blend file and then save it again just to make sure it's saved and it's got everything. Uh, then we want to export as X. <coughs> so these are all my models and stuff. Um, you do want to untick the rotate X 90 degrees because it goes really weird. It, like, weird. it just makes it really weird. But after that, I can just export that like that. So that's that done, and then we come back to here, uh, Scanner Solar 1, so this is that, go to Model, right, this is where you can see the wheel.fr, oh, actually, go, if you haven't got the SDK, you should already have it really, but you need to get the X converter <coughs> and convert the X file into the O3D. So for me, it would be data scanner model wheelfr.x. Open that up. It's converting. It's done. It doesn't take very long. You can't do any more than five megabyte files with that. Otherwise, it just crashes. It doesn't work. Anyway, right. So you need to go to your config folder. Now this is just a basic one, as you can see. You would have a lot more stuff on there, but the basic thing is you have a mesh and you just name it and then it loads it into the game so I'm gonna call this wheel uh, fr.o3d which is already got you don't actually need any of this, don't know what it does but hey, hey. and you probably don't need that either but I'm just gonna leave it there because I know it works save that config file because that's what OMSI reads so it needs that um, so that's that Right, so then you would just, once you've made everything, I would just copy that into your OMSI folder, so into vehicles folder even, so I'm going to just paste that, oh, I've already got one, um, yeah, just delete all this, just to show you what's happening, I'll just re-download it at some point, so delete that, then you would paste your own one in, obviously, as you can see, it's got all the scripts all on there and everything. So it should, hopefully, oh yeah, I forgot actually, you need a bus file. 
so I'm just going to quickly do that copy the D92 bus copy that over into solo 1 I'm going to paste that in here just rename that wheel but you need to edit this edit them all with notepad it's so much easier or notepad plus plus if you really want to but it's up to you um, just call that wheel this is what comes up in OMSI just play around with it you'll find out what it is um, uh, call that YouTube so you know and then beige call it black I don't know that's not racist if you want to try and do that and then that's just all your description that pops up and that's your reg number I don't know what that is oh, I need to actually keep that in and then this tells you that that's your sound folder that is trying to load and so is that for AIs and then that's your model folder that it loads and then that's your path folder passenger cabin and then that's all the scripts that it reads and then there's some cameras camera reflections and then there's ticket types and stuff but I don't, I don't even know how to do all this yet I still need to learn but that's not part of the tutorial so anyway that's you just save that anyway so as you can see that is pointing the model to the model d92.config folder so you would go into model and it's the d92 config folder and that points to our wheel so it should hopefully all work so now we are going into OMSI we will low map without buses this is just a test map that I'm working on it's not very good but it loads quite quickly that's the main thing uh, new bus and then once that loads you would go to as you can see that's called wheel so we want that and then that's the YouTube that's the type and then the appearance is black there and then that would be the depot file registration number that's that big file but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But as you can see, that's textured anyway. But I'll just quickly we go X that off. All we need to do then, that's just one of my problems. Um, go to open file location, vehicles, SD202. It needs one of the registration files. So just, and I'll just put a bus depot file in that just to make it happy. So just put that in there as well. That works. Right, so everything's all in there. Load up again, it should work. Uh, load map without buses. Loads. Sorry for rushing through this. If you do need any more steps, really, then it should be quite explanatory, really. It's just getting to basics with Blender and how it works. So there's the real YouTube black, and then that's Pando Depot, that's your registration number. Which you can obviously all change in that file, but I haven't. And then there is a textured wheel, which is where I need to actually move it up a bit. And you can actually, if you press E, um, it starts the engine and it all works. And I shall, no, I shouldn't. I don't know. It's obviously a bit hard to know what you have and haven't done, but I can't actually move it for some reason. There you go, see, it does actually move around and you can do the different views, that's what all the scripts do so you can actually use it if you wanted to with all the sounds and stuff but yeah, basically that's the tutorial over in Dunmore, hope you liked it uh, if you want me to do any more about Blender or anything like that um, just send me a PM on uh, OMSI and yeah, that's about it really, thank you very much